Hey, welcome to this week's Monday Motivation. My name is Tony Ruiz, and I'm the founder and host of the Productive Agent Podcast and Facebook group. The, pur- the purpose of our Monday Motivations is to give you a quick message and to make you think and be inspired to start your week. This week's Monday Motivation is entitled, Pull Your Weeds. So this past weekend, I spent a lot of time in my yard pulling weeds Um, and it was something that had to be done, but I really wasn't looking forward to it. Um, it's kind of a tedious process if you've ever done it yourself. Um, and it kind of hurts your back, you know, it's a time consuming. Um, I spent two hours the first day just on the front and side yards. Then I came home after my open house and, um, spent some more time, probably about another hour, hour and a half in the backyard. And then Sunday I had to come back and kind of finish it off. Um, but something that I really didn't want to do, you know, I, I I would much rather be playing golf, um, working on my business, um, doing all kinds of other things, playing video games, more enjoyable things, but it's, I knew it's something that had to get done. Um, and I learned something from it. I learned something about myself and I kind of want to share that with you. Um, but it all starts with one weed at a time. So you look at this yard that's kind of been overtaken, right? We've gotten some uh, rain in uh, recent times and we're starting to see the grass come back to life. Um, and with that, of course, weeds are popping up um, and it's that time of year, which is an awesome time of year. And there's great weather. Um, so I'm super thankful for that. But I just started focusing on one little section of the front yard at a time and focusing on one little weed at a time. And, you know, making sure that I was not just yanking the weeds out, but like getting down to the roots and pulling up the root from the grass. Um, And it was super satisfying when doing so. And so all of a sudden I would put my head down and work on this little section at a time. And then I would put it in the trash bag and, and dispose of it. And I would look back at the yard and go, that section looks pretty good. All right. I'm pretty proud of how that section's looking. And then I'd move on to the next section. Um, and it was just kind of one of those things. It's like, just focus on this, this little section, then the next section, then the next section. Put your head down and do the work. Um, and then look up after you've put in a little bit of work and you step back and you see the progress. Um, and I think that applies to really everything that we do in life, whether it's business or personal life. Um, it's doing those small little actions and seeing the improvement. So I pulled those on Saturday. I started and um, did a decent job. And then on Sunday, I swear, I woke up and I noticed my grass was greener. I saw more green grass starting to sprout through. Um, I was really proud of that. And um, I even Googled because I couldn't believe it. I Googled, does pulling weeds help your grass grow? And actually, it does because these weeds are pulling nutrients that should be going into your grass and your lawn. So I thought that was really cool. So thinking about those little actions that I took and seeing the progress, sometimes we don't see the progress right away. Sometimes it takes a minute. Um, But knowing that from one little weed to a big weed, um, they're all super satisfying. Um, Yanking out a big weed with a nice long root uh, is really cool and going, okay, now it looks way better. So I'd focus on sometimes the big weeds and then I'd have to like do the fine tuning and getting out the small weeds. Still got some work to be done. It's not perfect, but it's light years better than where it was when I started. So in recap, it's really talking about small actions consistently over time equals massive results. All right. Um, Sometimes we don't think that just, oh, it's this, this little weed or it's just this one big weed. Right. But it's consistently taking care of it. And, and committing to doing the work that we don't really want to do. I remember this, and I uh, heard this right when I started real estate. I started listening to this great podcast with Tim and Julie Harris, and they have a book. Yeah, it was probably the first book I read in real estate was Harris Rules um, is the book. Um, but they this phrase stuck with me. Do what you don't want to do when you don't want to do it, and do it at your highest level. Right. So um, I think we get stuck with, I don't really want to do this. You procrastinate, 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 whatever it is. And those are the things that you really should do and you should take action. And I promise you, when you do that consistently, time and time again, you will see the results. 
So my question to you in wrapping up are, what are the things that need to be done in your life that you don't want to do? And I encourage you to start doing them one little weed at a time, whether that be any aspect of your life, start taking action and take one little weed at a time, take the next big weed at a time, and you will see results. So that's my Monday motivation inspired by pulling weeds this weekend. Um, Pull your weeds and see your business grow and see your life grow. If you enjoyed the show, guys, I really appreciate you leaving a like, leaving a comment, sharing the show would be very beneficial to help us grow. Uh, Share with a friend, leave us a review, give us a rating. Um, Join our private Facebook group if you're in the real estate business called The Productive Agent. You could also follow us on Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube. All of the links are going to be in the show notes. So we thank you for joining us today. Now let's get out there and go produce.